SUV crashed into a home moments after it hit three power poles. It shut down power to thousands of homes, including one high school on the west side. Not in your sides, Ivan Rodriguez is live with more. Guys, Stella, you can actually still see one of those broken power poles behind me. Tucson Fire and TEP are still on scene trying to pick up the pieces after thousands were left without power. Earlier today, Tucson Fire say a car ran into walls, power poles, and finally into a house, leaving thousands of homes without power, including Choya High School, just a few blocks down the road. Some parents came and picked up their kids early from school after the district alerted them that there wasn't any power. TFD says the driver of the car was a young man and he wasn't injured, as well as anyone in the home. According to TEP, there's still about 100 homes without power, while Choya High has gotten its power back. Live near Choya High School, Ivan Rodriguez, KGA 9 on your side.